The problem is reliability design. In this video, I'll explain you what the problem is. Then I'll take a example problem from the textbooks mostly found in the textbook. Then I'll explain how to solve that problem. First of all, let us understand what the problem is. See, the problem is we have to set up a system. Set up a system. A system consists of some devices. Let us say D1, D2, D3, D4. I have some devices and I have to take these devices and set up a system. For example, I have to set up a studio. For that, I need a board and the camera and the batteries and lights and markers. These things I need in the setup. So let us call them as devices. Now, each device is having some cost. Say there is some cost. Cost 1, cost 2, cost 3 and cost 4. And each device is having some reliability. Means what is the probability of working good? Like board, the reliability is high. Lights, the reliability is low. They may go off. And the marker, the reliability is much lower. It may dry up. So like that, what is the chances that it works perfectly? That is called as reliability. So each device is having some reliability. Now what the problem is? See, the reliability of devices may vary. Suppose the reliability of each device is 0 0.9. Each device is 0 0.9. Then what is the reliability of entire system? That is product of all the reliabilities. So it is 0 0.9 power 4. This is 0.6561. See. Though the reliability of each device is 0.9, but the reliability of entire system is 0.65, means there are 35% chances that system may fail. So it means if I talk about a studio setup, so I have to stop recording because of any of the reason that the lights are gone, or the camera is not working, or marker is dried. So this could be the reasons I have to stop my recording. So there are 35% chances, 65% chances it works perfectly. So I have to improve my system. And the problem is I want to set up a system such that the reliability is maximum. So what I should do? I should have more than one copies of markers or I should have more than one cameras. I should have more than one lights. See if one camera is off, are gone damaged then I should use another camera in its place if the light is gone because of fluctuation then I should have another set of lights for continuing my recording so that's it so I should have the multiple copies of these devices we will call these that these devices are connected in series so now we should have the devices connected in parallel so same copies multiple copies of first device and multiple copies of second device. So I should have multiple copies. So we say that these are stages at each stage, stage one and stage two, stage three, stage four. At each stage we'll have the multiple copies where one of the copy may be working. The rest of the copies will be acting as backup. If this fails, then this will continue working in its place. So we say they are in parallel and the system is designed with taking parallel copies of devices. So what is the meaning here? So that is I should have the multiple copies of marker or I should have multiple copies of lights. That is the meaning. Then if I have multiple copies, whether the reliability of each will increase. Now let us see how to know whether the reliability of this stage has improved or not. So I am having three copies. The reliability of each device is 0.9. If I have three copies, what will be the reliability of the stage? So let us learn how to calculate the reliability of a stage. See, for the first device, the probability of working good is 0.9. Then 1 minus R1, that is the probability of not working good is 0.1. Then I have three copies of this one. See, I have three copies here. So for three copies, what is the probability that all three copies has failed? So all three copies has failed means point power three. Then this will be point zero zero one. This is the probability that all three copies have failed. Then one minus one minus R one to the power of three gives me the probability that 
three copies are working perfectly so that is 0.999 see there is a much improvement in the reliability it was just 0.9 now the reliability of a stage is 0.999 now finally it means that if I have multiple copies of the same device, then the reliability of the system, entire system may increase and we want maximum reliability. So for that, I should have the extra amount with me, the extra capital for buying multiple copies. So now the actual problem is if I have some cost with me, C is the cost, the total amount in my hand and I have to set up a system by buying these devices and connecting them. So these devices, how many copies of each device I should buy within that cost such that the total reliability of the system is maximized. This is the problem. Now let us take an example problem and solve it. Now here is an example. I have three devices and the cost of the devices is given. Let us say that is in dollars, $30, $15, $20. And, and the reliability of the devices is also given that is 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and 0 0.5. Then UI is the upper bound. So let us understand what this upper bound is. See, we are trying to set up a system by taking multiple copies. So at least one copy I must take. So for each device, I must take C1 plus C2 plus C3. That is sum of CI. I should take one copy of each. So that is 30 plus 15 plus 20. So this will become $65. So definitely I should take one copy of each device. Then the remaining amount I can spend for buying some multiple copies of other devices. So what is the remaining amount? So actual cost is given as C. So C minus sum of all CI is the remaining amount. This is remaining. So what is remaining? 105 minus 65 is 40. So $40 are remaining and in that $40, how many copies of first device I can take? How many I can take from second device? For how many third? Like that I have to calculate. So maximum how many copies I can take for each device. So in this 40, I can spend all $40 on the first device only. So how many copies I can take? So 40 divided by 30. So I can take just one copy in this one. So I can take one extra copy already one copy. I said I must take it. So how to know this? Now let me take it as a formula. This is the remaining amount in that I have to divide it by CI the cost of that device and I should take the floor value plus one copy which I am already taking plus one. So this result remaining amount is $40 and this is $30. This is one then plus one. So upper bound is two. So I can take two copies of this device. This is how we use the formula to find out in the remaining amount how many copies of each device I can take. Let us do it for the second device. See $40 is remaining and the $15 is this one. So I can take two copies and plus one that is already there. So three copies I can take and similarly this I can take for the third device, I can take 40 by 20. So two copies and plus one copy that I am already having. So three copies I can take. So this means that this gives the upper bound of any device. How many extra copies I can take? This is the formula. So I have upper bound for all. This means that after taking one one copy of each by spending $65 in the remaining $40, if I spend all $40 on first device, I can take two copies. The first actually one I am taking plus one copy. If I spend everything on second device, then total how many copies of second device? The one already we are taking here, then remaining two more copies. Then likewise, total three copies here. So we have the upper bound for each. Now we have to find out how many copies of each device we should take such that the reliability of a system is maximized. That's all about the problem. I have explained you about the problem. Now how to solve it is just like the set method of 01 knapsack problem. Now I will show you how to solve this one. For solving this problem, we will take a set of order pair. 
So each order pair will have reliability and the cost. Now first order pair, first set, set zero. This will be having order pair one and cost is zero. See so far nothing I have spent. I have not purchased anything. There is no system at all. So right now the reliability is one starting because reliability will multiply. If I take zero then the entire answer will be zero. So that's why we take reliability as one. Now let us start. Consider D1. If I consider first device, then how many copies I can take? I can take two copies. If I take only one copy of a device, then what happens? First device, one copy. Device and the copy. So the reliability is 0.9 multiplied by this one. 0 0.9. And the cost will be how much? 30, $30 added. So if I take just one copy of the first device, then the reliability will be 0.9 that is multiplied and the cost is added. I can take two copies there. So I'll prepare one more set, two copies of first device. If I take two copies of the device, then what will be the reliability of a stage? So you remember we have calculated this one for first stage, two copies we are taking. So this is one minus one minus 0.9 whole square. So this is 1 minus 0.9. This is 0 0.1 whole square. So 1 minus 0 0.01 and the reliability is 0 0.99. So this is 0 0.99 multiplied by 1. So we get the same thing and we are taking two copies. So this will be 60. We'll combine these two and form set 1. So this set one is for first device. So what are the possibilities? We have 0 0.9 and $30 and 0 0.99 and $60. If I take one copy, if I take two copies, that's all. This is the consideration of first device. Now we will do the same thing for second device. Let us see. Consider D2. For second device. So I have to prepare the sets now. Second device one copy. If I take second device one copy, what is the reliability 0.8 and the cost is 15. So that 0.8 and cost 15, I should multiply with these two order pairs. 0 0.8 into 0 0.9. So this is 0 0.72 and the cost is 30 and this is $15. So this will be 45 comma then with this also I should multiply that is 0 0.8 into 0 0.99 0 0.792 and the cost of this device is 15 so 15 added to this will be 75 dollars this is one copy we have taken now actually we can take three copies let us take second copy so if I take two copies of this one. First of all, let me calculate the reliability of this stage if there are two copies. 0.8 is the reliability if there is only one copy. Then if there are two copies, I will calculate here. 1 minus 1 minus reliability of second device, two copies. And this will be 1 minus 1 minus 0.8 whole square. 1 minus this will be 0.2 whole square. So this will be 1 minus 0 0.04. This will be 0 0.96. So as I am taking two copies, so the cost will be $30. So 0 0.96 and 30, I should multiply and add with these two order pairs. So 0 0.9 into 0 0.96 will be 0 0.864. And the cost that is $30 and this is $30. So it will be $60. Then next one is 0.96 with this one, this one. So 0 0.96 into 0 0.99, 0 0.9504. And the cost will be 60 plus 30, 90. So two copies I have taken. Now one thing to observe here. See, when I have two copies, the total cost is $90. I am having $105, $95 gone, remaining $15. Now, if I take this, that is two copies of second device, then can I purchase third device? Do I have that remaining amount? 
वन नॉट फाइव माइनस नाइन्टी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी डॉलर आई नीड ट्वेंटी डॉलर इन माई हैंड सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट दिस ऑर्डर पेयर विल बिकम इन फीजेबल सो वी कैन कट ऑफ दिस वन आई जिस स्ट्राइक ऑफ दिस वन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग द रिलायबिलिटी आई कुड हैव डन इट डायरेक्टली जस्ट बाय चेकिंग द कॉस्ट सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड कॉस्ट देन वी विल मल्टीप्लाई द रिलायबिलिटी सो इन दैट वी कैन सेव सम कैलकुलेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट three copies are possible so i should take the third copy so second device third copy so let us see what is the reliability and what is the cost so this will be three copies and this is three copy so this is three so this is 08 so this is 992 and if we have three copies of 15 this is 45 so i should multiply 0.992 and add 45 in both these order pair this is the result coming from first device so let me check by adding 45 plus 30 it will be 75 yes we'll be having remaining amount to buy this one so this is 75 and 0.992 into 0.98928 then one more this i should multiply and add with this one 16 plus 45 it will be 105 so i cannot buy the third device so no need of this order pair so cut off this one so i am not calculating it also then i have set to this set to is how many order pairs it is having 1 2 3 4 so i'll be getting four order pairs so the order pairs that we got from the second device are 0.7245.7975 and 0.86460 and 0.892875 now i have to calculate for third device also but there is no space so what i'll do is i will rewrite this one in smaller size so that we get some free space here so that is the last step remaining so let me rewrite this again with smaller size form so i have changed the size here i have made it a little small see this is set 0 this is for first device one copy one copy two copies and this is the combined form of this one merged of this one then second device first copy two copy and three copy three copies are there so then remaining whatever the Order pairs we got we have taken. Now one thing we have to do here. See, reliability is point seven two, cost is forty five, seven nine. So from seven two to seven nine it is increasing reliability increasing. Cost is also increasing thirty five thirty dollars are added to this one. Now seven nine then eight six. So the reliability is increasing. Reliability is increasing, but the cost is from seventy five to sixty. how come the reliability increases only if you spend extra money but here you are reducing the amount and the reliability is increasing this is wrong so reliability increases cost should also increase otherwise you have to cut off one order pair by applying dominance rule and the dominant rule says that the first one with higher cost you remove it remove this order pair based on the dominance rule this order pair is gone so now we are having just three order pairs now let us start working on third device and the third device d3 first copy one copy so s3 one copy so what is the reliability of this third device 0.5 and the cost is 20 so multiply with all these three so the first one reliability is 0.5 is multiply so this is 0.36 and the cost 45 plus 20 dollars is 65 and the second this is not there this is 0.864 into 0.5 as 0.432 and the cost is 60 plus 20 this is 80 then 0.89 28 into 0.5 is 4464 and the cost is 20 plus 
this is $95. This is when we are taking one copy of a third device. Now I should take two copies of a third device. So for that, I should calculate its reliability. So the reliability of third device is 0.9. But if I have two copies, how much it will be? This is R3 power 2. So this will be 1 minus 0.5 square. So this is 1 minus 0.5 whole square. This is 1 minus 0.25. This is 0.75 is the reliability of two copies and the cost will be $40. Now these are the things multiply with this and add 40. So one thing I told you that see the total cost now this we are on the third device lastly there is nothing remaining. So the total cost should not exceed $105. 0.75 into 0 0.72 this will be 54 and the cost is $45 plus 40 this will be $85. This is done. Now next is 0 0.864 into 0 0.75. This is 648. And the cost is 60 plus 40, $100. Now the last one is $75 plus $40. This will be it will be $115. So this $115 will exceed the total amount we have. So no need to calculate the reliability and this will be gone. Like I told you, it should be feasible within the given amount. So that is gone. Now I have to take third set three copies. So three copies means this will be cube, this will be cube and this is cube. So this is 0.125. And this will be 875 and this will be 40 plus 43 times this is $60. Now $60 is there. $60 in this one, yes, we can add. So 0 0.72 into 0 0.875, this will be 63. And the cost is 45 plus 60, this is 105. And 60 plus 60, 120. This is not possible. So don't take this. Then 75 plus 60. This is not possible. This is 135. Don't take this. So we are left with only 63.105. Only this order pair. Now set 3 that is formed is merge all these and purge also. So I will write down 0 0.3665. 0 0.43280. 0.446495 See reliability is increasing cost is also increasing reliability increasing yes perfect then 85 so shall i take 85.5485 see the reliability is increasing but the cost is decreasing so this will go away then 0 0.64 first comes what 63 then 64 so first is 0.63 and 105 then the last one is 0.64 so I have to take them in order 0 0.64 8 comma 100 comma 100 see 63 64 this is increasing and the cost is 105 to 100 decreasing so this is also gone so the order pairs that are remaining are this one, two, three, and four. Now if we have the final order pair for three devices at the third stage. So what is the maximum reliability I'm getting here? That is 0 0.64800. So the reliability of system that can be maximum is 0 0.648 and the cost will be 100. So this is the final answer. Now the question is, how many copies of each device I should purchase now? So for that, I get the answer like this. This order pair, 64800, where we got it? See, we have merged these three and we got this one. So that was here, here. So it means I should take two copies of device two, three. So device three, I should take two copies because I got the answer here. And this we got it by multiplying with these order pairs. First one was with one, this one and the second one was with this one. 
So this order pair. See the reliability of two copies and the cost is multiplied and added. We got this one. So it was done from here. This we got where? Here. So this is here. Right. So this is also for two copies of second device. Two copies. Then this we got by multiplying which one? See, we multiplied these two and got these two answers, right? This was multiplied with this one. So this is from coming from this. And this we obtain where here. So this is just one copy of first device. So the answer is first device, one copy, second device, two copies, third device, two copies. And the cost of the system and the reliability will be this one. This is the reliability and this is the cost of a system product of reliability and the summation of so the reliability is this one and the cost is 100 right total reliability of the system so we have improved the reliability of entire system if we don't take the multiple copies then the reliability will be less when we have taken multiple copies the reliability has improved that's all with the reliability design it is same as zero one knapsack problem i did not make this because there are a lot of calculations so just it is nothing but calculations only but this is little difficult for the students so i have prepared the video so if you face any difficulty let me know i'll prepare another video for this one